although it has been a virtual Congress, we need to acknowledge that uh, this ASH 2020 annual meeting has been an amazing one. Uh, despite the challenges of COVID uh, and of course the virtual setting, uh, we managed to have uh, a very nice meeting with lots of interactions. And most importantly, we have seen an amazing number of innovations. It can take me hours and hours to go through uh, some of the uh, most important findings. However, if I have to select a major highlight of this meeting, I would consider that the bispecific antibodies are clearly uh, on top of the podium at this ASH 2020 meeting. Of course, we've seen them uh, in lymphoma. Uh, there are uh, candidates in acute mild leukemia, but of course my favorite topic is in myeloma. And actually it's a true firework in terms of uh, new bispecific antibodies. Uh, I could, uh, uh, you know, uh, quantify, could, I counted actually eight or nine uh, different products being tested. For instance, when it comes to BCMA as a target, the B a cell maturation antigen, we have the AMG701 uh, byte. Uh, we have the other T cell engagers, CC93269. We have a newcomer, uh, PF0686135. There is also another newcomer, the uh, REJN5458. Of course, uh, TNB383B and uh, the popular Teclista map, uh, which we heard before. And when we look into the results of these different bispecific antibodies targeting BCMA, they are clearly uh, impressive. Also, the numbers in some abstract and some communications are relatively small, 19 or 18 patients. However, uh, it is clear if, uh, for instance, we consider teclistamab, uh, 84 patients received the IV formulation, 44 received the subcute, the response rates were extremely high in a population which was heavily pretreated. The range of prior lines of therapy went from five to uh, seven lines of treatment. And in uh, these agents, actually, uh, the median uh, PFS has not been reached. However, uh, and the safety profile actually of uh, uh, these bispecific antibodies is extremely uh, attractive, uh, and this is really good news. But actually, uh, what I really uh, enjoyed, and I think that will uh, become an important, uh, I would say, uh, an important uh, component of uh, uh, our uh, treatment options, is now about the advent of bispecific antibodies uh, with another target, uh, different than BCMA. So for instance, we have a telketamab a targeting GPRC. Uh, we have also sevostamab uh, targeting uh, the uh, CRH5, uh, uh, CRB5. And actually, uh, these are very exciting because they are providing uh, new options for those patients who are going to fail uh, the BCMA uh, targeted uh, targeting uh, agent. And here, for instance, with Talketamab, uh, we have a series presented of 137 patients with a median uh, prior lines of therapy of six. 
and uh, up to 79% were triple class uh, refractory. And uh, the median duration of response was not reached. We are beyond uh, 15 months. Uh, adverse events were uh, very uh, showed a high, uh, good level of safety. So in summary, uh, I think uh, we will definitely uh, remember this ASH 2020 uh, virtual meeting as a Congress where uh, we've seen, I would say, uh, the launch or the start of the adventure of these bispecific antibodies in uh, multiple myeloma. And they will challenge actually uh, many of the other well-established therapies or many of the therapies being under development like CAR T cells, for instance. But also, I think uh, they will rapidly move into uh, the treatment of uh, earlier disease settings. All of this is good news. And I think uh, the uh, myeloma uh, treatment and the myeloma uh, management is absolutely on the right track.